right about now, I would be working mostly with IE9. It's a pretty, pretty good, solid, all general purpose browser. It has some HTML5 capabilities, um, you know, and pretty good, pretty good market share overall. So I would build IE9, not specific, but kind of focused generally on testing and all that. And then, um, then you say, okay, well, I want to do WebGL if supported, right? So you check for feature support and add that in. So, and, um, and use for feature detection, you can use Modernizer is great. Uh, Modernizer is a library. It's included, if we look at, so here's again, this is the default um, MVC, right? So Modernizer is shipped. It's, a, it's an open source library, but it's shipped along with, with this. So um, Modernizer does two things. One is it, for, this is one very specific thing is for IE6, it, set, it, it adds in support for those semantic tags we looked at earlier, headers and footers and nav. Um, and then for everything else, all it does is say, say whether or not the browser supports a specific thing. So you can say, does this browser support, you know, Canvas? Does it support video, audio, et cetera? So you can go through and ask and query for things. And then there, there are other things built on top of this, like yep, nope is another one. Um, so the idea is instead, if, if you're doing um, in your JavaScript, you can say, well, here's my center target, and then do I have these other features add on to that? And what's great with that is it's a very, um, it's a long-lived strategy, right? Because you can continue to add features on instead of saying, nope, I support these browsers, and now that's, that's how it's going to be. And then you kind of get stuck when it's no longer a new browser. Um, 